have a secret that I want to share with you. A single strand of hair is all it takes to be matched with the one person that you are genetically guaranteed to fall in love with. Right now, you're selling me a fairy tale. This will change relationships and dating forever. They won't ever be the same again. She's reckless. Oh, okay, that was a clip from the new Netflix show called The One, catching a whole lot of buzz for the way it portrays finding your perfect match based on your DNA. Yes, it follows the story of an ambitious DNA researcher who is dedicated to providing the world with a new take on love. So the big question here, is DNA-based based dating a real thing? Yeah. Joining us now to weigh in on this theory is founder of DNA Romance, Dr. Timothy Sexton. Dr. Sexton, this is a very compelling theory mm -hmm. here. So tell us about your company and how you actually are using science, people's DNA, to help them uncover their potential soulmate. Sure. So uh, DNA Romance brings that element of, of chemistry to online dating. And chemistry is something that you typically can only feel when you're in the same room as somebody. And it's a, a natural biological sense that, that we're all wired to detect. We all know that, uh, you know, when you meet somebody in person, you can determine whether you had chemistry or whether there was, there was, there was no spark. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. when we meet online, we, we don't have the uh, ability to, to use our senses to evaluate that match. So DNA romance brings the element of chemistry or predictions of mm -hmm. chemistry to online dating by evaluating your DNA and looking at genes that correspond to uh, human attraction. Okay, so I'm giving you a little side eye because for <laughs> centuries people dated and found love without knowing what the other person's DNA was, right? So what is the, how does it work? Like you, you know, how do you get matched with somebody with their DNA? Is it like, can you show me your profile and what, you know, what is, <laughs> what does it look like? Exactly, exactly. So it's like, um, you know, any other dating profile, except you've got a little bit of extra information. So on the left hand side, we have a, a DNA compatibility rating that indicates the, the level of chemistry between uh, the two people. And uh, we've got an opposites attract uh, matchmaking algorithm. So we look at a particular set of genes that correspond to your immune system and we give you a very high compatibility rating if you're quite different to your match and a very low compatibility rating if, you, if you're quite similar to your match. And this should predict whether you have chemistry in person and whether you like their smell or, or are, are repulsed by their smell. And uh, this is in addition to a personality compatibility scale that we have, which is not derived from DNA. It's, uh, it's derived based on the personality compatibility. Okay. Right. So you definitely can't smell through like eHarmony or Bumble. <laughs> so that's what this is giving you. Dr. Saxton, on your website, you say you find uh, romantic chemistry between two people by using DNA markers that have shown to play a role in human attraction. So you talked about smell, certain things that you cannot really ascertain online but what are these other dna markers that align with romantic chemistry yeah so i mean it, it does relate to your perception of smell and that's your your biological instinct to to identify you know a compatible match but you know underlying that is the genetics and and why and ultimately you you actually recognize a, a person who's very different to you to smell good and this is only at a specific set of genes that, that correspond to your immune system and your immune recognition that recognizes okay. know, foreign pathogens. Uh, okay, so how are matches predicted? Mm. So we only look at, you know, 100 DNA markers that are positioned in a, in a set of genes called the major histocompatibility complex, uh, which is located on chromosome 6. And so we only look at those 100 markers and then compare you or the, the user to other people in the database and provide the compatibility scale. So as we saw in that uh, little preview from the one, she says, all you need is one single strand of hair. But obviously in Come this here. case, Come here, let me just pluck just one. one single <laughs> strand of hair. But on your website, you say that you have to fill out that DNA uh, information. So what are you using to then assess? So, oh, OK, we see a kit. So do you send this looks so romantic. participants a kit that they then will, will swab and then send back to you? Exactly, exactly. So there's there's two paths to using using uh, DNA romance. So there's a portion of the population that's already taken a DNA test for, for determining their ancestry. They're coming. Uh, so they're coming to get your DNA. <laughs> <laughs> <They are. laughs> Sorry, go ahead. 
Yeah, so there's there's these, uh, you know, Ancestry kits out there. So when uh, people order one of those Ancestry kits, they actually have access to their, their raw data. So they can use that raw data for other analysis and DNA analysis, DNA romance is one of those additional analysis that, that people people can use um, beyond their ancestry test hmm. and like you showed uh, just before we also offer a um, DNA testing kit for people who don't necessarily want to go through a, okay. another company and get their DNA tested so they can order a kit from us uh, we'll send you out the kit you'll do a cheek swab and post it back to the lab Fascinating. and results will get uh, so, populated on, on your dashboard yeah so uh, first off how much does it cost and how many people have you matched so, I mean, it's a bit of a process because, you know, when you're successful in matchmaking, uh, uh, people leave your platform. So to date, we've um, matched over 25,000 people to date, but that's not how many uh, are using the site. We've got a, roughly over 10,000 people that are, that are using the site today. Dr. Sanchez, and how much does it cost? It's uh, $18.70 per month okay. or $69 per year. Yeah. And you can uh, bundle in a, a DNA testing kit with your yearly subscription for an extra $29, so $98. Right. Dr. Saxon, before we let you go, I'm curious, where do you see this going? What do you think is the future of this chemistry linking? Do you think it will actually get rid of the bumbles and the eHarmonies, and will we just be solely looking at DNA to find our one true soulmate? No, I don't, I don't believe so. It'll okay. it'll complement the existing technologies. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a bit of extra information um, to bring you know the element of, of romantic chemistry to yeah. to online yeah. dating. Uh, online dating is already very successful in matchmaking people based mm -hmm. on, on yeah. physical attraction and um, you know personality. Right. And so this is one extra component to to the you know, yeah. Well, offline this with you because I'm putting my trust in your hands, right? For yeah. you to make the match because I'm not a, I don't have the ability to swipe on this, right? I'm putting my trust in that you are going to match me with somebody. You do see multiple matches, and you do have a choice. It uh, only so, takes two minutes, okay. right? Sorry. It only takes two minutes, and you you see your results. You see your results and you see your matches, but you don't see one match. You, you're not matched with just the one. Right. You're matched with many people around the world and you're provided with, with different information about them. And you make up your mind about whether you want to engage with them and have a conversation with them and, and proceed to having a Around the statement. world. Wow, long distance relationship. Yeah. Hey, doctor, thank you so much for explaining this. I think this is fascinating. So thank you very much for explaining it. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. All right. Take care. Yeah, 1022. What do you guys think? Yeah. So, Dan, you still have to do some work. It's not like they well, just tell you who the one true person is and that's it. That's but, but I'm confused. Because, you know, and I, and I'm I'll, very I'll, confused. I'll, I'll offline this with him later because like, if you're using your DNA to find your soulmate, right? right? So now you're telling me that there's multiple soulmates. Yes. No, I don't think he's saying soulmate. Someone who you have chemistry with. Yes. Right, there you you go. can have match. chemistry with a friend or with a buddy, but right. it does. it's like it's different kinds of chemistry. Right. So it's someone you have chemistry with, so it narrows down the search. So it's not someone you're going to be repelled by smell or not smell you know no. what i mean well okay. was he saying that people of similar blood dna came that it's was going off of chromosomes